We are not at the workshop, as you can see. I know normally I'm, I'm sitting down, there are sneakers on both sides of me. Right now we are in Los Angeles, California, the Hollywood sign behind me. I feel like I'm in the movies, just with that Hollywood sign behind me. I, I don't know, I feel like this is a movie. It's not, but we are gonna do some cool stuff. Not sure exactly what we are going to do yet. We're gonna kinda just wing it, but what we can't wing is we need coffee. So that is the first stop. The second stop, we're gonna go to a place called Squirrel that Buckets has been to. Buckets is behind the camera right here. Near, near, now. He is behind the camera right now. So it's coffee, it's breakfast at Squirrel, and then who knows? Maybe we'll hit round two, maybe we'll hit a couple sneaker spots. We have not decided, but stay tuned. Let go. Okay, so here's the thing. A lot of you know Buckets to be the coffee connoisseur, but it's actually me. I actually know more about coffee than Buckets. You would agree, Buckets? No. Okay, so. With one sip, I can tell you where this came from. It's a little patch of hills in, uh, it's outside of LA. We're in Los Angeles now, this is outside of LA. They go out, they go out there with a truck, they get the beans, they bring it back, they make this deliciousness. Scale of one to 10, 10 out of 10. Cafe Vita. Look at that, they're, they're, they're coming, they know what it is. Just ate at Squirrel, it was absolutely delicious, and as I was walking, I'm thinking my beard needs to be a little bit sharper. So, Vinny's Barbershop is gonna get me right. Gonna When I have a fresh razor, that straight razor line on the beard, it makes me feel like Batman. It makes me feel like Bruce Wayne of the beard game. So it's time, let's get it. We are back at the Airbnb. Buckets and I, we're gonna hit a bunch of sneaker spots and we are going to do that, but it'll, it'll probably be tomorrow. Today, we've just been eating, taking in the LA vibes, the ambiance, so to speak, but we did wanna bring you guys a video and a video that a lot of people have been asking for on Instagram. At Mr. Former Simpson, by the way, if you are not already following me on Instagram, go check me out. We will put a link in the description. So. People were asking, yo, Foamy, when you go on a trip, because Buckets and I, we travel a lot, what do you bring? What do you pack in the bag? What is the weaponry that you take with you from city to city? So we're gonna run through it really quick. So I got the Supreme, you know, uh, super simple. These were both retail pieces. I was able to snag them, I like them. They're the right size for me, so it works out. Buckets and I both pack really, really light. That's what I started to say. So we're just gonna run through the stuff. Of course, you know, I bring a toothbrush and deodorant and all of that stuff, but let's get to some of the main stuff. So um, sneaker wise, my favorite sneaker of the year, this is the Nike Air Max 197 by Sean Watherspoon. I can't wait until that sequel comes. They teased that baby blue pair. I'm really excited about those. As you can see, I have worn these sneakers. These are absolutely trashed. This is my favorite sneaker of 2018. I bring these with me pretty much everywhere. Really quickly, the only other sneaker that I brought is the acronym 
Presto in the racer pink colorway. This is one of my favorite releases of the year. Probably top three for me right here. So those are the only sneakers that I brought. I also brought a pair of wedding shoes because Buckets and I are going to a wedding, but we won't get into all of that. So we got a suit, tie, dress shoes, but we'll save that. Beard comb, gotta have it on deck. Beard comb, another essential charger. Gotta have the iPhone charger. Important key factor with the charger, the extra long, the extendo. You know, the regular charging cords just are not long enough. So you don't know if you're gonna be plugged in at the airport, wherever you're gonna be. You're at the Airbnb, maybe the outlet is not that close to the bed, to the couch, wherever. And so always go with the extra long uh, cord on the charger. iPhone X, standard stuff. What do I got in my pockets? Gucci wallet, this was a gift. I actually had pretty much this same wallet and I got it stolen. I should say I left it somewhere. Someone picked it up and, and didn't return it. So, um, oh, I had it upside down. I love the Gucci wallet. This is muy caliente. So, that's the bag. Now, the duffel. So I'm not gonna run through everything here. I wanna keep this short and sweet. Uh, I'll touch on some of the main things. Um, so there's a few pair of jeans in here. I really like rag and bone jeans. I really like Revtown jeans. Um, you know, pretty simple. Some some track pants. I, you know, I just really like the the pattern on them. To me, those are very London, very Euro. But um, those are cool. Pair of Bape shorts. I've had these for a while, but I really like them. Simple, navy. They go with the Yankee hat. Um, got the guest shirt. This is one that I just picked up. You know, you've been watching these videos. You guys know my stees. You guys know my stilo. I'm not super high fashion. I'm not a guy, you know, I have my, my pieces. I have my stuff that I like. I'm pretty much a, a denim and hoodie guy. Speaking of which, got the OG uncivilized in burgundy right here. This is one of my favorite hoodies that we've ever, ever done. Check this out. So the homie Teddy, a lot of you know Teddy. So he sent over a few pieces. A crew neck, a couple t-shirts, and this is my favorite t-shirt. I just love the design. I love that traditional tattoo aesthetic. Teddy is a tattooer by trade, and so you can really see that in the design of his clothing and stuff like that. So that is super dope. And uh, that's pretty much it as far as the clothing goes. So you can see we've packed pretty light. You know, I don't bring six, seven pairs of sneakers. It's just too much. We like to keep it simple. Here's a travel hack for all you sneakerheads out there. When you go on a trip, when you go to a new city, chances are you're gonna buy a pair of sneakers, you're gonna buy a hoodie, you're gonna buy something that you wanna bring back with you. So if your stuff is jam-packed to the brim, where you gotta sit on a suitcase and try to rah, get the latch closed, you gotta squeeze everything together, Heimlich maneuver, then do the zipper, you're not gonna have room to bring anything back. So pro tip, travel life hack. Pack lightly, leave a little room in there. So when you do buy something, bam, you're gonna bring gifts back for people. You're gonna need more room on the way back than you did on the way there. That is just a science fact. And then all that we brought other than that is all of our tech stuff, all of our gear. Of course, I showed you the cell phone and the charger and stuff, but the camera that Buckets is shooting with right now, which is the Sony a7 III, that is our newest addition. But I think it's actually better Buckets. I think it's gonna be better if you actually go through the tech. I'm familiar with cameras, I know how to shoot. Buckets is better than I am. He is the wizard. Forrest is also a wizard. He is not here with us on this trip. Um, so Buckets, let's have you run through the tech real quick. Okay. It's Hollywood sign, which is pretty cool. Buckets approves. So this is the travel bag. The travel bag, the tote, I don't know what you call this. What, what do you put in there? The laptop. The, oh. I mean, I put a lot of this stuff. Spare okay. batteries, cords. I got the uh, Gorilla Pod vlog thing like this. Hey, there you go, we nice. want to do that. Got my ideas book. Laptop goes in there. So this is carry-on size. I take this with us on every trip. All the Most of the gear goes in here. I'll put the link in the description and that goes probably for everything, all the tech, 
We'll put the links in the description if you want to grab it. Amazon, etc. Yeah, exactly. We'll, guys, we'll include all this stuff. Guys and girls, we'll include this stuff in the description if you want to grab any of it. Pocket juice. Bam. Necessary. If your phone dies, you need this. Necessary. Let's see the sticker on it. OG Uncivilized. Gang, 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 gang. Mouse. If anyone has ever tried to edit a video on a trackpad, right here, this is what we like to call a trackpad, it's a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. This is a lifesaver. You got the one terabyte external hard drive. This one's like the rugged one. You could drop it. I don't recommend trying to drop it and see if it still works. So I try to take good care of that, but so that's where all the footage goes. We carry it with us so I can edit. Got the headphones so that I can edit if it's a little bit noisy or whatever. Sony, yeah, these are like the standard Sony headphones, but they're very good and they don't add all this weird extra stuff so you can get like a true sound check or whatever you want to call it. On the road, this is the Asus laptop. You know, it's good. It's good stuff. It's not as good as the computer that we got at the workshop that looks like a transformer, but it gets the job done. I, I keep a million SD cards with us. I got the fanny pack. This is, this is the number one travel essential right here. The fanny pack. I keep my wallet in there, I keep my phone in there. A lot of times I don't have pockets. Well, show us, show us what, you, what, what sneaker you brought. The sneaker that I bought, the Coral Studio Air Max 95 that my good friend Ish Treyor did. Went to school with them, played basketball with them. It's my man. Excellent, small world, man. Good to see friends winning. Yeah, what else do I got in here? A couple toothpicks. And then this is another extreme essential, the Hoya variable density filter. So I can adjust the ISO manually with this and put it right here. So we got the A7 III. We shoot on a 16 to 35 uh, G Master and we use a Rode Micro Pro shotgun mic for the audio when we're out and about wheeling and dealing. With the fur. Got the with bread. the fur, yeah, yeah. It's got a little, we got a little wind protector on it. Boots with the fur. Oh, okay. <laughs> Extra battery. You gotta have batteries, you gotta have chargers. You gotta, you gotta have extra SD cards. That's basically it on the tech side of things. Okay, good. Let me hand you back the, the thing. Okay, camera back to bucket. So let's wrap this up. So th that, that's kind of the tech. Now we have a lot of cameras, lenses at the workshop, but again, just like I talked about packing light with the sneakers and the clothing, pack light with the cameras and that stuff too, because honestly, you can't be lugging everything around. Sneaker enthusiasts, sneaker heads on the go, this is what it is. This is what it looks like for us. So leave a comment below and let us know what are some of the travel essentials that you need when you go on a trip. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Buckets, do you have anything to add? I don't. That's it. So stay tuned. We've got a bunch of videos coming very, very soon. We're going to be all over LA. We're going to hit round two. We're going to hit some other really cool sneaker spots out here. So stay tuned for that. But we did want to show you what was in the bag and what we brought out here with us because I think this is a valuable video and a lot of people have been asking for it. And we are men of the people, as you know. With that said, I am Foamy. That is Buckets. And we are out of here. That was kind of cool, right? It was almost like I'm throwing a Frisbee or something. See ya.